And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Swain for our first deck of the day. We got a lot of donation decks to cover today. Uh, this one's going to be the the new Victor paired up with Swain. What what really uh, is going to do a lot of work for us here is a card like Ballistic Bot, which of course is a is a key part of Victor decks. But we're going to round start, create this ignition in hand every turn. And this is going to be one damage to the enemy nexus each turn. And that's going to be pretty important for both of our champions. Now, of course, with Victor, um, obviously, each time we play one that's playing a created card towards leveling up Victor. But with Swain, Swain needs to deal 12 non-combat damage to level up. And you start doing, like, one ignition damage a turn. That uh, damage really adds up pretty fast. But then once you do have your leveled up Swain and, you know, you use like your other cards, like your Get Excited and Mystic Shots and all that kind of stuff that levels up Swain also. And you have your leveled up Swain, then whenever you deal um, next or non-combat Nexus damage, which is an ignition, you get to stun the strongest back row enemy. So you can use those ignitions <clears throat> before attacking to be able to just be one mana um, stuns. Basically, you can turn them into like Guiles. That also are doing nexus damage and so if you pair that with something like you know leviathan where you have the leviathan swain combo going and then ballistic bot also dealing nexus damage that can add up pretty quickly <clears throat> so ballistic bots can be an important one here we're going to try to make a lot of bots we're going to have a tarative improvement be able to copy ballistic bot so we can get multiple of them and so we can get a lot of ignitions um, of course with a lot of ignitions if we don't need to cast them we can also uh, rummage them away and uh, get some good card draw in our deck and of course, we can discard the ignitions to get excited as well. Then, of course, you know, we have things like the Arachnoid Sentry Ravenous Flock combo. We have like some house spiders to do some blocking um, for us, some Scorched Earth, destroy some landmarks. Um, yeah, so we got we got a little bit of everything in here. <clears throat> Chump Wump, of course, making mushroom clouds we can give them, or of course, we can rummage away those mushroom clouds also. So let's give it a try. All right, playing against Zoe first. Uh, definitely love having the thermogenic beam for the Zoe. And then I think I'll just keep um, Victor as the other card. I'll mulligan. You know, like both, obviously Swain and Leviathan are awesome, but I don't want to just keep um, a whole a whole lot of expensive cards in hand. All right, cool. So we have that thermogenic beam for the Zoe. Hmm. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. just a weird hand here everything costing four or five like this is just this is the problem with get excited right like I, I just don't i don't really want to discard any of these things this get excited was like aftershock if either of these cards were aftershock we could have you know killed the one three and our life would have been a lot better but Join the glorious evolution. All right, Victor, get some keywords. I need to kill this Mentor of the Stones, but all that does is just give them a whole bunch of gems. A mind was never idle. I'm thinking maybe they put like all these gems on the serpents. 
And then I kill the serpent with the death ray. No, that's not very wishful thinking. That's pretty wishful thinking, because if they have anything that keeps their, their serpent alive, we could be in trouble. I'm just going to do this. Okay, so the next two cards should both be the MK2s. We'll have some MK2s. Dealing two damage. So I think my plan is. I guess this turn, I think it's get excited plus MK2. By casting the MK2 right now, then they can't use a Guiding Touch if that's a card that they have. Or if I wait, they could use Guiding Touch to save. Why would they cast that right now? Malevolence. Just get a draggling. I, mean, I wasn't gonna have Victor challenge. I, th I don't think because of Hush. Not all mean well. I, uh, yeah, I could have maybe challenged the one one. They could be turning on Nightfall for Pale Cascades right now. I need to use the Scorched Earth on this Eye of the Dragon right now. Them getting a um, a Dragling right now isn't that important. <laughs> yeah, hush. Yeah, it's. Victor is just, like, Victor is really cool and everything, just not very good against Hush. I'm hoping that this levels up Swain. That's what I'm hoping. And then, yeah, play leveled up Swain, have my Ignitions done something. Fear 
share the power you do not see. Because of Hush, I'm not challenging the 4-3. And we'll just we're just gonna leave this two on lifesteal alone. <clears throat> but we're kind of forcing them to have hush, and, and if they don't have hush, oh, I guess I guess I don't even need to challenge this thing, but I mean I have a this thing has overwhelm anyway. I could but Ooh, okay, so they took it all, so it took eleven. Eleven's a lot. And you know your moon weapons are pretty good when people are spending two mana just to be able to get a moon weapon. That's when you know the moon weapons are pretty good. So Lee Sin obviously is the card I'm really scared of, right? So like if, if they play a Lee Sin, so I'm gonna wait on this ignition until like there is a Lee Sin, right? Like if so I am not gonna just play it to stun this the fangs. If they play Lee Sin, the Lee Sin will be bigger than the Fangs, then we'll play the Ignition and stun that. Once I snap papers, now faces, our goals are greater than petty violence. Yeah, we can scorch the Fangs. Well, we're just playing three. I'm holding on to this mushroom cloud because we're playing three rummage. So they only played one spell this turn. We know they have a moon weapon. We don't know what moon... Oh, no, no, no. They use that moon weapon to get the Eye of the Dragon. That's right. We can maybe stun a couple of things with these ignitions. Can you improve perfection? Is there a keyword that says unstun? <laughs> unstun a keyword? Scout. Okay, so force so they finally use that uh, that hush. Tough, Fearsome, Challenger, Quick Attack, Overwhelm, Regeneration, Scout. How many total keywords are there? There's Spell Shield and Elusive. You know, like, the two two of the best ones don't, don't have that. Um, and then there's Fury. So I, know, I can think of three others. Deep meditation for that. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Leave them nothing. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking, looking for Equinox. But maybe they, you know, maybe they figured out they kind of needed a blocker. Which I guess I could have probably attacked before that. Hopefully they did not find Equinox. Very good. What is gained when you become malevolence? Metal is perfection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's this lightning bolt thing? Why does it have that lightning bolt? Genius in action. Join me if you want to live. Go, floaty crystals. Yeah. I mean, Hush, Hush kill. Like, if that last card was Hush, like, okay. I was like, if they just drew Hush, like, Hush would kill the victor. But it, my victor does have regen if they didn't. Okay, so that thing just means a passive effect. Alright, so there's the elusive. And can't block either of these, they're fearsome. Alright, there we go, Victor Swain. My comfort and only one way. Much easier to beat Lee Sin when they don't draw Lee Sin. Alright, Fiora Shen. Maybe our Fiora Shen opponent won't draw Fiora or Shen. Or they can have one of them. Oh, I don't want another rummage. I mean, I guess, I guess we'll have one rummage. Get rid of the other. But so you know, I'm thinking ballistic bot important. Create these ignitions. The ignitions we can discard for get excited. Discard for rummage. Keeping flock because like if they have Fiora and I try to get excited to kill the Fiora. Um. So I try to get excited to kill the Fiora, and they like play whatever thing that keeps it alive. Then I could Ravenous Flock it afterwards. Witness perfection, meat bags. No. We speak with I was gonna bags. say, please just don't have the Fiora right now, though. <laughs> Give me Prime just a second. I walk this space between worlds. Okay, well. Oh man, I only have four mana, so if they have anything that protects the Fiora. Um, I guess if they have something that protects the... F okay, I have the Ravenous Flock. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they have Sharp Sight, but then they go Barrier. Come on, just let it happen. Uh. It must be... Try me. Her that didn't work out. I like it better when they don't have their champions. I like that a little bit better. Out for me, is it? Doesn't doesn't look like it. System operate. Let them eat. Oh God. What? Enforce the crime. Who goes there? Nature 
Use her followers. That's just not it. <laughs> Two down. Yeah, this is this is a really difficult deck to play against. Just Fiora and Shen together. Just Fiora is just really, really difficult to play against. They had, you know, they have exactly what you want. They have both champions and and just a whole bunch of protection. Yeah, they have exactly what you want. Okay, so we're gonna try to. This is our this is our last stand. You know, like we're gonna try to stun. Those cards don't matter. I needed them to not have any other fight spells, like just having another fight spell ends the game. Because, I mean, because now any kind of barrier, you know, like basically any barrier um, stops. Like I needed, I needed to, to stun and then Ravenous Flock and then they use barrier and then I Mystic Shot to get rid of the barrier so it takes damage and then Scorched Earth, right? Like I need, I needed that, like that combo together, but. Um, the King Koo go where they are needed. The balance has yeah, been obviously the game's over now though. Nature blesses her followers. GG's. No. Please don't have Fiora Shen and then all protection. Because that's all you need. Like, that's. It's really, really difficult to beat if you just have Fiora Shen and then all protection and fight spells and everything else, then all spells. If you just have that. Uh, you kind of win the game, so um, hopefully they don't. House Spider, of course, won't do anything. We'll keep the Sentry Flock combo and this um, Get Excited. I could have kept the Spider to just discard to Get Excited. But it's probably better to just mulligan and see if we find other useful cards. Changes but never breaks. Another brilliant design. And a so they didn't want to play River Shaper on turn three. Yes, and course. don't want to make that attack into Repost. These woods protect their own. Gift from the river folk. You're covered. Nature blesses her followers. <clears throat> Them not having champions is much better for me. Not having champions a lot more. Metal is perfection. Electroplating complete. What did we get? Oh, regen. Dragon, such fascinating creatures. 
I'm just gonna hold on. They would fall by my blade. Hmm. I was gonna say I was just gonna hold on to this iterative improvement, but. They've been keeping their repost mana available. <laughs> Always forward. Not the egg. Yeah, that's that's a good point. If if these after yeah, that's a good point. Like the aftershocks would not have been getting nopified. I didn't really think about that, but yeah, that's a good that's a good point. That would have been another good reason to play aftershock. I guess I'm going to go. Play barrier on this thing. Sweep them away. Publish or perish. I'm not really sure why, like, yeah, I'm not really sure what this attack is for. Genius in action. Just get. Oh, Challenger. Challenger's cool. Yeah, if Yora with all protection is so difficult to deal with. Like, all they have to have is a repost. And, um,. The game's kind of over. Let's see. So six out of seven. Might as well play this to make it seven. Genius. We must improve. We must evolve. Well, that's just gonna be the case anyway. Okay, got River Shaper out of here, so they're not gonna be just drawing. So that's good news. No River Shaper, that means they don't get to just draw. Um, anything. Oh wow, Swain is nowhere near leveling up. So if I play Captain Fair and I don't draw a card next turn, I guess, well, I could just throw away the... Oh, no, yeah, because I will, because we won't have the Hexcore upgrade, so we'll have 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. And this is why you play the Egghead Researcher. You get a good blocker that this one card turns into a 7-7 seven, seven, that turns into these other cards. What I want to check, I want to check this. So we're at seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, please don't have fight spells. Just go to the next turn. Don't have a fight spell. Rose. This will be quick. My legacy. Okay, we'll check that out after this phantom.
So the fewer is only at one. We swim within the flows of magic. Okay, no deny there. For the honor of House Laurent. Try me. So we're in a pretty good spot. They have to kill the Leviathan. Over. Like, they basically need Sharp Sight plus Nopify. Okay, well, they're not even trying to kill the... The Leviathan, so... This must mean they have a, the Lifesteal Barrier. Okay, no, no Lifesteal Barrier. I was gonna say, once they go lifesteal barrier, then we mystic shot them, but what form will the waters take? Waters are still. That'll do. Alright, so we got we got the win against Fiora Shen. Awesome, GG's. All right, Twisted Fizz. Been a little while since since we played against Twisted Fizz. It's been a minute. I like the first three. <clears throat> we don't need to keep the Captain Farron in our opener. Start for them. This is why I liked the house spider being able to have a card that goes wide because they can go wide. I'll just go ahead and do this. We could wait a little bit and, and have, like, if we had more time, the better thing would have been to have, you know, get Mushroom Cloud, discard Mushroom Cloud. That would have been the better thing to do. Um, but we didn't really have time for that. Alright, I'm going to save this three spell mana for the Get Excited. We can do that, get the mushroom cloud. Now I can cast Get Excited. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Alright, so it wasn't Twisted Fate. Can you improve perfection? So I hope that they don't have Twisted Fate for how they didn't play it, because I don't want to sit sit back and allow them to just keep creating these ignitions. <clears throat> Do you want to kill this thing? Now the Swain Champion spells, remember, will be the Ravenous Flocks. So we'll have Sentry plus Flock the next turn. And let's see, so it's 7. So Flock would make it 11. Not quite leveled up. They got the suit ups. Ooh. It's a good iterative improvement because all like, you know, getting spray fin, chump lump, sentry, these are all good options. But unfortunately, I don't doesn't look like, uh, like I'm probably just not going to be able to level up Swain before I hit them, right? Like I'm not going to be able to attack with a level up Swain this turn, unless they play like something that's already damaged, you know, like a a box to puss or something like that. They just they just play one of those units that self damage. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay. 
That's about the only way. Oh, I guess I could have I could have gave them the mushroom cloud here, and then maybe if they draw if they would have drawn a puff cap. But of course, with the two mana, my plan is to play the ballistic bot. Like that's that's my plan. You can't do this. I will break this. Victory awaits. Shuffle. Maybe that should be the the mushroom cloud. It's a lot of cards they're about to draw. Ooh. I'm gonna pass. Because basically, like, I'm worried about them, you know, like getting a whole bunch of elusives this turn. The zero mana ones. So I want to have like my iterative improvement. Be able to copy the zero mana ones. They need one more spell for this fizz to level up. I don't want to just cast Ignition, because Ignition just stuns Twisted Fate right now. I think we need to stun something else besides Twisted Fate. Uh, but now that Twisted Fate's at seven. Yeah, those things. So mine costs two mana right now. All right, so that will stun Fizz, and then we do I kill the Burble Fish or kill the the? Tw I guess I kill the Twisted Fate. No, maybe I have to kill this Burble Fish. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Safety disengage. Wow, two burble fish gone. Good. Now this game's heating up. No, I should definitely not just go face. Because they they could they, they could have killed me this turn if they had um, you know, a perfect hand. Possible they will tear to mine. But yeah, now we're just going to try to uh, ravenous flock this thing. Now they definitely won't be able to iterative my burble fish. If they want to get blue card as well. Soak it in. Okay. So they'll probably play these two elusives for a couple of blockers, I think, but I mean they could excuse me. They may iterative my purple fish, and you know, like so, they they can get like two two more blockers, like either way, whether it's just these two one ones or if it's an iterative. I don't know. So, like, if I attack like this, I guess I just attack attack like this. They have three blockers. They take four, go to one. I ignition. How does it hurt me to play the ignition first? Because if I play the ignition first, you know, we stun this. They still. Well, I guess. I guess we just attack. No, it's not. I mean, we know they can make this thing makes a five two, right? So like they, they no matter what can make a three power thing to block with. Yeah. 
but I would if if that's like the case, if they're gonna do that, I'd, I'd rather them block with the fizz than block with this five two. I think, but I don't know. I guess that. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. Need for Noxus. <clears throat> Maybe they draw some puff caps. Draw some puff caps. Or not. I'm a people person. I'll be right back. So we know they have the MK2 as one of their cards. That was a clutch puff cap draw. Clutch puff cap draw. But they still got four cards. So it still looks pretty bad for us. I got ways to find me mushroom. My 4 1 can block this 5 4. Not anymore. Obviously, I can't target the fizz because they'll just fizzle it with the mushrooms. All right, come on, drop puff cap, puff cap. No, oh, I need them to draw the puff cap. Pledge of perish. Makes sense to play this first. Yep. So yeah, if I I just go to attacks, they kill it. So I was thinking like they had like the MK3. <clears throat> Even, but now by playing that first, we can attack here, try to get some damage in. Did have the MK3. Alright, draw some puff caps. No. No, not me draw puff caps. What are you What are you doing, Deck? <clears throat> Alright, so I have to shoot Fizz. They're at, yeah, four, four puff caps, 13 cards. All right, let's just draw Leviathan or Swain. Not nah, thermogenic beam. And how are we the ones always drawing the puff caps now? Ah, oh, thermogenic beam, you are the worst card. We had a lot of cards that could win it here. Yeah, any of our three eight drops. Captain Farron, Leviathan, just a Swain. And they just card too late. One card too late. Alright, same kind of deck, this one with Ezreal instead of Fizz, but it'll be same kind of deck. Yeah, we can try all these. I'm gonna leave the House Spider here with the attack, you know, it's just a much better attacker for this turn. Disengage. 
So if they do have an Ezreal, I won't be able to kill it with the Thermogenic Beam, but they won't, like, even though it'll create a Mystic Shot, they won't be able to, to cast said Mystic Shot. I am superior life form. I thought you'd never ask. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Can't stop me. Can you improve perfection? All right, so I can play this and then beam. So the bad news is I have nothing to discard, and we have all these cards that care about discarding. Keep up, keep I have up. nothing to discard right now. By my hand, will Noxus rise. Let's do this. Leave them nothing. We live here. Well, the good news is we're getting some good damage in on them. And we have this Leviathan at the top end. Soak it in. The time of machines is now. Is meow. That's a lot of damage. So that's eight damage in our hand. And they're at nine. They shouldn't have any way to heal their Nexus, right? Citrus Courier is their only way to heal the Nexus. Considering shooting this to make it easier for my Swain to attack them, what do you... I know it's not doing the Nexus damage to them, but that's okay. I mean, because this is still this is still nine right here. Leviathan, get excited, get excited. Still nine, and they're at nine. Not sure if they're gonna be able to stop and open. I mean, I guess if they can draw, you know, if they have like a couple of rummage, salvage, that kind of stuff. They can draw enough cards. We are at war. They need to draw five cards, level up to a fate to block. Nope. All right, good job, Swain. Agro Swain. History will remember us. All right, so that was our Victor Swain. It looked all right. It looked all right. It went three and two. Um, lost that that close kind of top deck war that real, that um, close battle to the the fizz version um, where we played a, a super long game they they got us and then we uh, got aggressive against the Ezreal version there for those last two split the games against Fiora Shen don't feel too bad about splitting those um, and then also beat the Lee Sin deck so we played five really good quality decks you know five decks that are probably considered up in that tier one you know Zoe Lee Sin Fiora Shen twice. And then Teemo Fizz and, or not, sorry, um, Twisted Fizz and Twisted Ezreal. So a bunch of good competition. Um, and our deck looked strong. Looked, yeah, looked very strong. Um, that, yeah, I'm not sure about the, the progress day at the top end. If, you know, with already having like Farron and Leviathan, if we need progress day as well. Um, but, you know, like we never really drew that or anything. But um, Get Excited was okay. It was like hit or miss. Whether or not it was good, honestly, there was there was twice though that really like three times like three times that get excited hurt us being get excited and not being aftershock. Twice we had get excited get nopified, where aftershock would not be nopified, of course, because it costs four mana. So like that hurt us twice, and then there was another time 
Um, I guess it was the first game against the Zoe deck where they had, um, you know, Mentor the Stones plus Eye of the Dragon. And I could have get excited, you know, like going to attacks, I could get excited to kill the Eye of the Dragon before they attack. But I just, I didn't, like, I only had, like, victors in hand. I just didn't want to discard any of the stuff in my hand. And so I just, so just didn't play it. But, like, if it was Aftershock, it would have been a real easy thing to do. So, <clears throat> so basically I'm saying I'm not sure if, if, like, three Get Excited is worth it instead of, and zero Aftershocks. Or, like, maybe some kind of combination of the two. Um, you know, instead of, instead of just three and zero. Especially, like, how there's three Rummage in here. There's just not that many created cards in the deck for for uh, three rummages and three get excited. It seems like we are really um, testing our limit of, of like discard cards there. So, uh, but <clears throat> but overall, very positive. The bots, the iterative improvement, you know, your, your sentry flock having that kind of good removal and then, uh, you know, Victor, Swain, Leviathan, that kind of stuff at the top end. It looked, looked solid. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Victor Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.